what's up y'all it's peaches your favorite nail tech we are back with another video and today's video is really just going to be some tips and tricks for like a perfect short set so this is what this client walked in with. She was a new client. This is the first time I seen her. You guys can tell she went to a shop that they're very thin. It's supposed to be um, dip powder, which we all know that's acrylic, right? Yes, yes. Okay, don't don't believe what them shops is telling you. Okay, so I guess this is supposed to be uh, square. We went ahead and soaked them off, and I really just wanted to show you guys. You can see that this is MMA number one, cause watch when I touch it, look how sticky. And number two, I was really just baffled on why they put a clear layer underneath the red dip. Because honestly, if that was the case, if they were gonna do a clear layer, they could have just polished over it. So that was kind of interesting. So, you know, before we go ahead and get into everything, I really just wanted to show you a glimpse at what I was working with into what I transformed it. And we are going to start with our subscriber shout out, which goes to, hey, it's Jenny. And subscribe since actually Saturday, so for almost a week. Very much appreciate. You guys don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, all of the sorts, so you don't miss out on no live, stre live streams and no videos. Okay. So the color that we're using is New Panther. You already know if it's not not polished, it's not nothing. This is not it. So now when doing a short set, right? I'm so sorry, y'all. I got these gummy bears. These are good as hell. So okay. Now when doing a short set. You really want to go ahead and focus on application because if your application ain't right, it's going to be very hard to get the set to look like what it needs to. So you can see I pretty much use one main bead to kind of cover the nail and then I pretty much went back in as I needed to just to make sure there's no lumps, no bumps. The main tip that I can't stress enough to you guys is to make sure there is no lumps, no bumps before you even start. Now check this out, right? I know like the set she just had, it was dip, very thin, no apex, no nothing. To me personally, dip powder is like the equivalent of nail polish because it is very thin. Most people experience a lot of cracking. So you want to make sure that when you're going in to do your full set, you use enough acrylic that you have still a structure. No matter what length of set you have, you still need some sort of structure, okay? So that way you don't have chipping and breaking, etc. So you can see I did a nice layer of acrylic. And I just really dragged it down and push it and tuck it into the cuticle area and make sure everything is covered. So do you see when I take that one made bead, like I said, I mean, not like I said because I haven't said it yet. But like I always say, acrylic control and your knowing your liquid to powder ratio is everything so if you have not already seen the video that i did on liquid to powder ratios i really suggest you go and check that out because without that it's going to be very hard to get a really nice application on short nails okay so do you see how i'm checking from the side to make sure that the nail is not lumpy and bumpy but also does have some support so now the nail does look it looks um not thin okay but it does look very like sleek and streamlined and that's what you want because at the end of the day we do not want a bulky nail whatsoever okay so that is the main tip that i can have for you guys is use as little beads as possible and that way it will stop you from having too many lumps and bumps because that seems to be really the main thing with short nails it they tend to get thick very quickly and that's not what we want okay so once again you guys are watching me do the one bead method for the most part and then I'm gonna go in as needed and as necessary so even before this like let's rewind back to the tips and stuff like that and I do have an in-depth video on how to do short nails so I will link that in this video as well because that's like pretty much start to finish type of situation you know what I'm saying now excuse me in this video I am also gonna have some filing tips and tricks so that way you guys have like a little bit more beginning to end a lot to kind of look and see because a lot of people tell me like oh peaches i have a hard time doing short nails or you know clients will tell me like it's hard to find someone to do short nails you know what i'm saying and i agree i agree like i always say it's not something that a lot of people want to do and it is harder to do it really like if it was that easy everybody would stop writing those short nails in a bio and you know people would post them more to be honest with you so now look, once you kind of have it down to where, okay, you have the beads you need to get and now 
you're dragging them down and doing everything the next tip that i have for you is get rid of the excess whatever you don't need like if it's not necessary for the nail get rid of it because what you don't want to do is have everything dragging down to the tip and you're thinking oh i'll file it later it's short it doesn't matter no it does matter you see i'm going around making sure there's no excess in the cuticles no excess on the tip any little excess um acrylic that you don't need just go ahead and get rid of it okay because the thing of the matter is excess acrylic tends to move until it's dry meaning okay you're gonna have to keep playing with it to keep it in place until it dries and when it comes to short nails it has a, a tendency to want to spill over the sides to seep into the cuticles especially if you're a beginner it's gonna be hard to control acrylic that don't have no place to go and like i always said we don't want to be chasing no beads okay so just get that in your head like here go my brother pulling into the driveway can y'all hear that okay anyway so <clears throat> you don't want any extra acrylic if you can help it okay so those are like my main two biggest tips when doing short nails as far as the application because once you're able to like streamline your application to where it really doesn't take too many beads and you can get it on the first go that's what you want to do i would also say don't shy away from doing shorter nails because there's actually a lot of girls that have to get shorter nails like not even because they don't like long but maybe they start a new job or maybe they just had a baby and sometimes the girls that are getting shorter nails sometimes they're girls that typically go for xl or wild designs or whatever and there are some girls that like short nails and get all the all the designs and it, it's a hundred twenty dollar set you know what i'm saying so don't shy away from short nails use it as practice because shorter nails are if you can get a short nail to look really nice and good and clean especially because there's not a space to work with then you can take those same concepts and apply it to a medium nail and then from a medium nail apply it to a long nail and that's how you can kind of build up your practice and get really good to like mastering all lengths if you know what i'm saying so you can see from the angle right here the side angle you can see there's no bulkiness or nothing to the nails they're streamlined they're not lumpy and bumpy and everything is going how it needs to be now with um applying acrylic this way instead of dip like i said don't let nobody tell you dip powder ain't acrylic because it is if you look on the back it will say method meth acrylic which is also in acrylic okay it's just a different way of putting it on and different different mixtures of things i guess different technique now when you apply it like this you have less of a chance of the tips and stuff just breaking and chipping so just don't i mean make sure that you don't leave the tips too thin because otherwise you'll have the same problem as the dip basically is what i'm saying okay now this is also sped forward i'm sorry it looks a little aggressive the way that i'm filing but when you are filing on a shorter length really 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 make sure that you get in there and you make sure everything is flush and everything is right and tight you do not want nothing looking out of place and that for filing um sealing the cuticles that is my biggest tip really get in there this it happens to be a fine sanding band because i had ran out of my medium ones that i like to use so i am kind of having to go in and file more because there's less grit so i kind of have to make up for it but do you see how i am going around all sides and all angles you really want to make it look like somebody could have grown things or something like we want them to look natural so granted there are really no lumps or bumps or anything but i am just making sure they are as streamlined as possible and this is how i hold the finger so that way i can go ahead and get a really flush look okay flush equals the key okay that is really the key to a great looking short set so once you have the nails around the, i mean the nails around the cuticle once you have the acrylic around the cuticle nice and flush listen can't nobody tell you nothing and like i said if you can get the cuticle area flush in here in a short nail you can apply it to all lengths because really it is about the technique just with longer lengths you need more acrylic and you need more of an apex okay but yes making sure that everything is nice and flush and making sure your sidewalls are not too thick so this right here where i'm filing at those are the sidewalls and i'm just making sure that they are not too thick because if they look way too thick on the sidewalls or there's too much hanging over it kind of does take away from the streamline look and then i don't want to say it takes away from the neatness because that's not necessarily true but just depending on the tips that you use and that you have 
Um, I know there's the ones that are like extremely C-curved tips. Those ones tend to have sidewalls that hang over just because that's how the tip is made. But even still, you can apply this concept because you still don't want the sidewalls to be looking extremely thick. You still want to go under and you still want to take care of that. You know what I'm saying? So once you go ahead and do this first, I, I always go ahead and take care of the cuticle area first before I file because you can remove a lot of unnecessary bulk this way. That way you get a crisper shape when you do file. And I go ahead, I enhance, <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my throat is dry. I enhance the C-curve underneath to get rid of any thickness in the tip. Because if the tip is too thick, you will not get a crisp shape. You just will not. And I'm telling you this from experience because when I used to try and just keep filing and filing and filing and the tip was already very thick, very bulky, it's like, why? Oh, well now only one layer of it is filing and, and now the most top layer of the nail is looking kind of crooked. It, it's just a lot. It's really a lot. If you guys know what I'm talking about, when it comes to that, like, especially when you're filing vertically, when you turn the hand around and file like that, that is really when you will notice, okay, when the tip is too thick, it's really just not going to work out. You know what I'm saying? So when you're actually using your file and your hand filing, really just make sure that you are pulling them skin back. Pull their people's skin back. You do not want to cut anybody, but don't be scared to get up in there. The biggest mistake that I see with short nails is either the cuticle area is very bulky while the tip kind of, it kind of slims out, which honestly, it, at this length, you should not be doing anything other than square, maybe almond for more, you know, if you want like a natural sh um, shape, just because coffin will not coffin at this length. And I'm really tired of seeing it. Look, I don't judge anybody who do it, but I'm just letting you know, it's not never going to look right. Cause this is not enough length to do a proper coffin okay so just keep that in mind keep that in mind keep that in mind okay and i'm gonna keep telling it to people i'm gonna keep telling people like there is such a point where it is just too short to coffin and it just looked like a doggone hexagon like why are, come on this this is this is not 2010 okay we are in 2022 and we need to get our shapes together okay so just make sure that you really get in there and that you are really, really trying your best to make sure everything is nice and even. Because at the end, we will compare each nail to not only the other hand, but to the the, the fingers and nails on the same hand as well. Because I really, really like to make sure that everything is very, very um, symmetrical. As symmetrical as my eyes will let me get it. And my hands, you know what I'm saying? So, I really hope this video helps somebody. I am going to actually do a double upload tonight because I did the first official Valentine set today. And when I tell you it is cute, girl, it is really cute. Very plain and simple, but still very cute. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Nails by Pretty Face. I upload content every single, single day to my nail page, of course. And then, of course, here on YouTube, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe okay and turn on your notifications turn your notifications on because you guys know i upload daily live streams videos just really all of the above uh so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and since i am doing a double upload i'll see you guys later on let me know what else you guys want to see and i'll get back with you